And he will remove you and bring another nation in your place. You will not be able to do any harm to him. And Allah has power of, on everything. If you don't help him, whom? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know the mission was assigned to Muhammad. It was his duty basically as the messenger of Allah to make the deen of Allah supreme. So whoever was helping him actually, whoever was participating in this jihad, he was helping him. The mission was his. If you don't help him, Allah has been helping him. He doesn't care about you. Is when those who disbelieved they expelled him from Makkah he was the second of the two when both of them were in a cave the cave of Saur where the Prophet after coming out from his home he stayed for three days and three nights they, he, both of them Abu Bakr and Muhammad they were you know they kept Hiding there. Is Yaqoolul Sahibihi when he said, he was saying to his companion, that is Abu Bakr, don't be grieved. In Allah, verily Allah is with us. You know, you know the details of this incident, every Muslim knows. So Allah sent down his calm and tranquility over him. And he helped him with the army, his horse, which you could not see, of the angels. And he made, he made the word of those who disbelieved lowest. And the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the supreme, is the uppermost. Wallahu Azizul Hakim and Allah is all powerful, all authority and all wise. In Firu Khifafabasikala. You have to go out whether you are khifaf or you are sikal. Now there are two meanings of these words. Khifaf, having less arms and rations. You don't have sufficient arms and rations. Even then you have to go out. Number two. If the inclination of the heart, inclination is present, then a man feels light. I am going lightly. And sikal, when you are fully loaded with your arms and provisions, or when you are, you have to go, you know, 
heavy hearted you don't want to do you want to go you have to go that is you know the words in the bayah bayana rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala sabi wa taat fi al usri wal yusri wal mansat wal bakrah fi al usri wal yusri whether the conditions are easy favorable or they are difficult wal mansat wal bakrah whether we feel inclined to do it or we have to force ourselves to do it but we shall obey whatever command comes from you so now these are the two meanings you have to go out whether you have more arms or provisions or you have less arms or provisions in the same way you have to go out whether you feel inclined or you have to force yourself to do it in firu khifaf wa siqal wa jahidu bi amwalikum wa anfusikum fi sabilillah and make jihad in the way of allah with your belongings your riches and your lives zalikum khairul lakum in kuntum ta'lamun this is better for you if you know if you have the real knowledge law kana aradan qariban wa safaran qasidan lattabauk if the gain was near at hand and the journey was short they would have followed you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but now because it's a very long journey going all the way to syria in such a hot season hot weather walakin baudat alaihim ash-shuqqa the distance was too far from for them wa sayahlifuna billahi la mustata'na la kharajna ma'akum and they will swear by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that had it been possible for us we would have gone with you oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yuhlikuna anfusahum they are destroying their own selves by telling this lie wallahu ya'lamu bi annahum lakazibun allah very well knows that they are telling a lie they are liars afallahu anka now this afallahu anka has two meanings may allah forgive you or allah has forgiven you these two both you know words radiyallahu anhum allah has been pleased with them and may allah be pleased with him so actually those both translation would be correct allah has forgiven you or may allah forgive you lima zinta lahu why did you grant them the leave when a munafiq came oh ya rasulullah it's very difficult for me these are the conditions my wife is sick nobody is there to look after her or my parents nobody nobody is there to look after them and this is such and this is that and the prophet said okay you are granted leave afallahu may allah pardon you or allah has pardoned you lima zintalu why did you grant them leave hatta yatabayyana lak alladhina sadaqu wa ta'lam al kazibin until it became clear for you it would have become clear for you who are the true in their statements and who are only telling a lie if you didn't grant the, them the permission they would not have gone with you but you know their nifaq would have come to the surface that they are disobeying without you know the permission the explicit permission of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they hold back their nifaq will become apparent would have become apparent but now when you have given them the leave the cover remains over their nifaq لا يستاذنك الذين يؤمنون بالله واليوم الاخر those who really believe in allah and the last day they never ask for any leave ay yujahidu bi amwali wa anfusihim leave from this that they should make jihad for the cause of allah who momin will turn his face away from it no truly believing momin can ask for permission for of leave wallahu alimun bil muttaqin allah very well knows the people who are really god fearing who are really conscious of allah inna ma yastadunu kal ladina la yu'minuna billah wal yawm al akhir actually only those people come to take to beg for leave you know and permission not to go with you who don't believe really in allah and the last day war tabat qulubuhum and you know their hearts are in doubts fahum fi raybihim yataraddadun and they are wavering in their doubts the same word you know which we read in surah an-nisa muzabzabina baina zalik the same is yataraddadun mutaraddid whether i should go i should not go well if i don't go my nifaq will become apparent people will know it they know it my neighbors know 
that all this, these name excuses that I presented, they are false. But you, I should go. But again, the fear of death and all the hardships that were to be borne that kept him back. So this is taraddud. Muzab zabina bayna zalik, mutaraddadin bayna zalik. Fahum fi rabihim ya taraddadun. Wala waradul khuruja laadu lahu uddatan. Had they really intended to go out for war and fighting, they would have made the preparations. Walakin kare Allahu imbiyasam. Now this is very important. Allah Himself didn't like that they should go out. The the reader would come later on. Fasabbatahum. So Allah made them make a pause. The Allah made them lagging behind. Fasabbatahum. Waqil akudum al qaidin. And it was said to them that okay, you sit, sit back. With those who are sitting back, who are not going out, now comes the 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 wisdom of, of this decision of Allah. La khurajoo fi kum maazadu kum illa khabala. Had they come out with you and accompanied you, they would not have increased anything for you but trouble, making conspiracies, saying something here, whispering here. Against the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, going there, saying something else over there. Mazadu kum illa khabala, wal aubaru khilala kum yabuna kum al fitna. And they would have gone hurried to and fro to bring some sedition or prone to be incited. Yabuna kum al fitna. Wa fi kum sabbaroon allahum. And there are people, you know, who listen to them among you because these munafiks, you know, they were rich people. Influential people, so now though some of the people from Oz and Khadijah, they used to listen to them. They are they are our chieftains. For example, Abdullah ibn Ubay was the chief, and you know it had been decided that he will be declared the king of of Yasrib. But when the Prophet came, all his dreams, you know, they were shattered. So actually, these were you know people who had resources. So there were people who would have listened to them when they, if they were with you in this journey, they would have created trouble. Wafikum sabbaun alahum, lahum, wallahu alimu mizwalimin. Allah very well knows this zalimin. Now this is very important. They didn't go. Allah also said, "Don't go." So Allah is attributing it to Himself. We made them sit back. And those who decided to go, Allah made it easy for them to go. So it, they will say, Allah made the conditions favorable for us that we could come, uh, come out. So attributing to Allah and attributing to yourself, both things are absolutely correct. I want to lift this. I cannot lift it without the permission of Allah. So I can say I have lifted it. I can say Allah has made me lift it. Both things are. Absolutely correct. Every action, every movement, necessarily has two elements: an intention from a person and the permission from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So you can attribute it to the person or to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But I can carry Allah in Baasaun. For sabba tahu wa kila kordu ma qaidin. La khalju fi kum ma zadu kum illa khabala. Wa auzaru khilala kum yabuna kum al fitna. Wa fi kum samaruna lahum. Wa Allahu alimu mizalimin.